Welcome to the BSG Podcast, the podcast where pop culture and nerd culture meet. You think it's just going to be barbecue sauce? Because if you actually read those books, it's just gobbledygook. I really think clothes should be mandatory. Um, speaking of Star Wars, trailer reaction video. Hello and welcome to another BXG production uh, trailer reaction. Uh, this is a trailer reaction for Spirited, starring Ryan Reynolds, this way, and Will Ferrell, this way. A uh, holiday-themed movie that, you know, stars two, you know, comic legends at this point. Brenton, uh, do you have any thoughts on Spirited so far? Nope. No, I don't either. I just like the idea of these two being together. Uh, two people I really enjoy seeing, and uh, I think this is a match made in heaven. I am excited. Um, I will say with this that <clears throat> we're launching our presidential ticket for 2024, and our campaign slogan will be to make Will Ferrell funny again. Because it's been a hot minute. Oh, wow. Uh in a while but we know it's there oh we know it's there it's there it's he's just... funny on late here's the thing i'll say about will ferrell before we pull it he's very good on like late night shows still it's just getting him funny in movies that's a little rough yeah but aside from that spirited let's do it let's do it three two one rock and roll tap dancing i like that already it looks like yep. a it's like an old ipod commercial yep it is because it's funny it's apple yeah they probably planned that ah, yep. how did you know all that i didn't i was just following you, you i didn't following me yeah oh i got i messed up in the middle of this. yeah i little... tap is new for me it's yeah. a very expressive yeah. medium what is all of this I am your ghost of Christmas present. Like a Christmas carol? What do you, do you think I'm gonna be all intrigued by what's behind the door? I... Not even <laughs> a little bit curious? Damn it! I mean, if we're Dickensing, I'm in, because truly one of the greatest stories ever told, so. Looks like yeah. it. It looks like yep. the, you can count the me in. Then I'm. You yeah. can you can tell this story. Honestly, you could My tell this story a thousand different ways. Kid. What did they call him? It was Tiny Tim. No, no, no. Sweet kid, one crutch. No. Nope. Little Larry. No. Tiny Tim. Mike Hill and Mike. Super small Steve. Holy. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's it's got potential. Yeah, it definitely. I love that. The, that's definitely an improv, and I want to see the outtakes of all the things that Will Ferrell says, because that's incredible. And that's when he's at his best. When it's like, yeah. okay, we're gonna do ten takes, do ten different things, and he yeah. and he can go. And that's where Ricky Bobby, obviously the first Anchorman, like that's where that's where he shined. Old Shone, school, shown, shined, shined. Yeah. Five. Yeah, old school, another one, um, Step Brothers. Yeah. And uh, all the rest. But I think Ryan Reynolds is not a good actor, but I think he's very good at being Ryan Reynolds. Exactly. Which yeah. is good, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, there's a lot of people out there that that's what you want are good at be. being. Yeah. And it's sometimes good to be. And I will, I will say, like, I actually do think he's a good actor. The movie that I watched, the uh, gambling movie, what the Mississippi Grind. Okay. He actually is not Ryan Reynolds in that. I will give him credit. He's good in that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do like him best as Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I will say that 100%. I, I do think you, if you haven't seen that, Brent, I don't, I don't think you have yet. But I would suggest it. it's a quick movie. It's a good movie. I think it would change your opinion on him not being necessarily a good actor. But I do I, like him as Ryan Reynolds. I would check it out. There's just certain guys who are – I guess I, I shouldn't say he's not a good actor. I just think the best thing he does is just be himself. Sure, sure. And I think that there are several guys who are like that. Jeff Goldblum, I think, is the best example. Jeff Goldblum's best when he's just being himself. Right, right. And I think that, you know, 
there's other people who kind of fall. I should say, I think the thing is, it's not themselves. It's a caricature of themselves. themselves. I think that's actually who Jeff Goldblum is, though. It could be. I mean, I did see him run out of a grocery store with a bag of fruit. I have heard that he (laughs) is um, an incredibly talented jazz pianist and plays. Yeah. Like, but he plays that way. He plays like he talks. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, but Jeff Goldblum notwithstanding, I think that this is probably a really just solid Christmas movie. We got a little good Christmas slate coming our way. Violent Night. Violent Night and Spirited. A couple couple of ads to the old the old roster here because Christmas is a good time for movies and boom. Those old chestnuts. Back to back these with a little home alone. Can't go wrong. Christmas vacation. Christmas yeah. vacation, exactly. Got to do it. Uh, Look around if... you, Helen. What? <laughs> oh, just Christmas what vacation. Did, wait, what, no, 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 I missed what you said. Oh, look around you, Helen. With the threshold <laughs> of hell. <laughs> it's such a great. The way he delivers it is so great. Yeah. But... Oh, <laughs> honey, have you drained our shitters? <laughs> all right uh, all right thanks for watching uh Get us out of here. if you uh Put it down. if you like please subscribe and if we did our job well ring that bell like christmas time oh it, like a christmas we're almost bell. there like we're almost bell. there it's right around the corner it'll be here <sighs> before you know it yeah and i haven't done any christmas shopping yet well it is still the middle of october but a lot of people do get their like Christmas shopping yeah, done early. I know. I Are know. you an early guy or a late guy, Brad? Last minute. I'm not last minute. December twenty third. I feel. I don't feel. I feel like you put a little more thought than December twenty third. I'm a. Uh, I will say it's all November. November, I just go hard. And then it's. I'm more of a no not November kind of guy as far as go, <laughs> going hard. And I'm gonna cut that out. Or not. <laughs> just leave it. Yeah. You just don't like to eat peanuts or leg- legumes or tree nuts of any time. Yeah. I got diverticulitis and it, you know, it's like a whole I always thing. you have diverticulitis. Yeah. Me too. Which always sounds like way worse than it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool name. All right. Well, it thanks is. for watching everybody. Sounds like a hockey he- player. It does. It probably was named after a hockey player who couldn't eat certain things, seeds and such. Um, but thanks for watching everybody. We appreciate it. Uh, we're getting close to those hundred subscribers, and then you get that. Uh, what is it? Not all of you. No, one person will win a twenty-five dollar gift card. One person will win a twenty-five dollar gift card. Not a million people will win a a dollar gift card. That's right. We're not millionaires yet, but let everyone know about it, and then someday we will be. Perhaps. But let everyone know. Seriously like let everyone you know know and then it'll happen sooner or later and then you will get a better gift card if you win because we'll be richer think about this it's math 